हेलो व्यूअर्स आई मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड बिफोर यू विथ द टॉपिक एब्यूज ऑफ एल्डर्स सो फार एज एब्यूज ऑफ एल्डर्स इज कंसर्न फोर एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इट है इन दिस वीडियो वन इज फिजिकल इनसिक्योरिटी फाइनेंशियल इनसिक्योरिटी सोशियल इनसिक्योरिटी एंड हेल्थ केयर issues abuse of elders is found in plus 3 fifth semester ethics and value paper and the name of the paper is vulnerable vulnerable the name of the paper is vulnerable sections of the society understanding their issues but before i discuss Abuse of elders. I want to inform my viewers that name of my channel is at the rate Dilip Kumar Pal ninety seven five, where you will find videos from plus three past semester poly honors up to plus three six semester poly honors, videos of plus three past semester ethics and value up to fifth semester ethics and value, videos of plus three past semester to second semester poly and generality, videos of environmental studies of plus three past semester. and some videos of plus 2 first year plus 2 second year political science any video you want just write my name dilip kumar pal and the name of the topic in google or youtube you'll get all videos in odia and english form let us start abuse of elders what is the meaning of abuse of elders according to world population aging report 2020 According to World Population Aging Report 2020, at present in the world there are 727 million aged people. 65 or above are living in the world. It is estimated that by 2050, people above 60 will be 2 billion or 22 percent of world's population. In India, by 2026. Aged persons above 60 will be 173 million. Elders means here senior citizens or persons above 60 years. Today, among many problems confronting human beings, abuse of elders is a major problem in the world today. Human beings face a lot of problems. Among these. abuse of elders is a major problem on the basis of world population aging report 2020 according to world population aging report 2020 at present there are 127 at present there are 727 million aged people 65 or above are living in the world at present Above sixty-five years, sixty-five or above years, people in this world now is seven twenty-seven million, and it is estimated that by two thousand fifty, the aged population or above sixty will be two billion, means twenty-two percent of the world population, and. In India, by 2026, aged persons above 60 years will be 173 million. In India, it is estimated that by 2026, aged persons above 60 will be 173 million. Elders means senior citizens or persons above 60 years. So, human beings. Face today a lot of problems. Among the abuse of elders is a major problem. So, what is the meaning of abuse of elders? Abuse of elders means any act which causes harm to an elder person. So, abuse of elders means any act which causes harm to the elders. or older persons so any act so any type of act which causes problem or harm to elders is known as abuse of elders 
it is mainly foreign types. So abuse of elders means any type of act which harms or create problem for the elders. It is known as abuse of elders. So any type of act which causes harm or which will create problem for the elders is known as abuse of elders. So abuse of elders are many types. Number one, physical insecurity. It is a type of problem for the uh, adults. It is a type of problem for the elders. So elders face many types of problems. Number one, physical insecurity. It includes physical abuse and neglect of senior citizens. Elders face a lot of problems. Number one is abuse, physical abuse and neglect of senior citizens. Physically they face a lot of problems. How? In the age of globalization, children are staying in distant places from their parents to secure job and to fulfill their basic requirements. They have migrated to different distant places. So elders persons are living alone and they there was nobody to look after them. So the first problem which elders face today is the physical abuse. Physical abuse, physical abuse or neglect of senior citizens. It is one type of problem. So under physical insecurity, one is physical abuse. It means in the age of globalization, children are staying far from their parents. In order to fulfill their daily requirements, they are moving to different distant places for job. So, parents are left alone in home and there was nobody to look after them. It is the physical abuse. Number two, crime against senior citizens. A elderly persons are living alone. Sometimes they are attacked and killed by robbing their valuables. Even sometimes they are threatened to register case. Another type of abuse is the crime against senior citizens. Our senior citizens are staying alone because their children are staying far from themselves. Are they are alone? Taking this opportunity, sometimes their valuables are taken and for valuables they are even killed. And sometimes they are being threatened to register case in the police station. It is crime against senior citizens. It is also a type of physical insecurity. So in the physical security we have discussed physical abuse, crime against senior citizens. Number three, barriers in assessing services and institutions by senior citizens. Nowadays senior citizens due to their body problem are unable to go to health centers, banks, post offices to avail various benefits of government schemes. Due to long queue, lack of lift, lack of toilet, place of place to sit, wheelchair, etc., senior citizens face a lot of problem to assessing benefits of government schemes. Another problem, physical insecurity which elders face is barriers in assessing services and institutions for senior citizens. As senior citizens have become old, they face physical problem to move, so they are in problem to get some benefits, government benefits, benefit from government schemes, from post offices, health centers and bank. They are unable to move to post offices, banks, health centers to get benefit from different type of government schemes. Fourth one is lack of proper elderly friendly transport system. Another physical insecurity which elders face, another physical insecurity which elders face is the lack of proper elderly friendly transportation service. Due to poor physical conditions, elderly persons are unable to take the benefit of public transportation in chief rate which are far from them. Age elder people have become physically weak. They are unable to go to distant places to avail the benefit of public transport system which are civilly available. It is another problem. Fifth one, another fifth problem in the physical insecurity in the physical insecurity is the digital divide being faced by senior citizens. Lack of digital literacy of elders, 
they face a lot of problem in availing banking and other services. Even there are chances to lose whole savings of their life. As today the world has become digital world, computer knowledge is very much essential. But as elderly persons do not have computer knowledge, they are unable to cope with the digital world. They are unable to go to bank which has become digitalized. They are unable to go to post offices which has become digitalized. They are unable to go to health centers also where different things have been digitalized. So elderly persons face another problem of in the digital world. So these are all in the physical insecurities. Now discuss. Another problem is loneliness and social insecurity. Due to different types of diseases like arthritis, paralysis, old age weakness, etc., elders remain indoors and slowly get themselves isolated from friends and society. Busy life, digital life of family members give no time for them. The notion you are old also keep them aloof from others in enjoying movie, going to tour, etc. They are told to confide in prayer and spiritual work. Another problem which elders face is the loneliness and social insecurity. Age elder persons are suffering from different old, old age diseases like arthritis, paralysis, physical weakness. They are mainly staying in the corner of the room. They are unable to mix with others due to their physical problem. So due to their physical problem like arthritis, paralysis and other body problem including cataract, they are unable to mix with others, friends, other persons. They mainly stay in one set, one corner of the house. And members of the family are so much busy today that they are unable to, they, or they do not have time to give some time to elders. And they are also busy in the digital world. So our family members are busy today in the digital world. They are under overwork pressure, they give no time for the elders. So elders live in one side of the room. They feel lonely, loneliness and they feel themselves secure, insecure because they feel that if there will be any problem, there will be nobody to help them. And sometimes they are told, you are aged. So this statement, you are aged, so you should not enjoy a movie, you should not go with tour. It is also a problem for elders. So they are being isolated, they are not allowed to see movie because they are telling that you are old. They are not allowed to go with the tour because they are telling old. And they are only told to confine with prayer and spiritual work. So loneliness and social insecurity is another problem for elders. Number three, financial insecurity. Due to lack of pension, due to lack of pension, sufficient savings, property, transfer, etc., most of the elders depend on family members, financially. So the family, first of all, look interest of their children, then their interest, and finally interest of the elders. So their interest like medicines, other needs, etc., are compromised. Another problem which elders face is the financial insecurity. Some elders do not have pension, do not have sufficient fund, so they depend on everything for on family members. For their medicines, for their daily needs, they depend on family members. And family members first fulfill the demand of the children, then they fulfill their demand, and finally they fulfill the demand of elders. And even some demands of elders are compromised, are not fulfilled. This is financial insecurity. So due to lack of pension, due to lack of sufficient fund, then 
due to property transfer. Sometimes they transfer property to family members. Once the property is transferred, then interest of elders are neglected. So it is a financial insecurity. Finally, health healthcare issues. With the increase in age, physical and mental development are hampered. With the increase in age, physical and mental development of the aged persons are hampered. Various diseases affect them. They suffer from non-communicable diseases like high blood pressure, high blood sugar, arthritis, etc. Mental problem like Parkinson, Alzheimer's, etc. comes to them. So medical care is necessary. Otherwise, it will have a very fatal impact on their body. So another problem with elder space is the health care issues. Due to aging problem, elderly person face different type of problems in their body. They face different type of problem, health issues like body problem like high blood pressure, high blood sugar, arthritis, cataract. And sometimes they face mental problem like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. So, with the increase in age, elder persons suffer from different diseases. And if these diseases will not be taken care of, it will have fatal impact on the elders. So, in this video, we have discussed abuse of elders. How? Elders are facing problems in the society. So, abuse of elders means any act, any act which causes harm to the elders. So, I request my viewers to subscribe my channel if you have not. Ever of your friends about this channel so that some students will be benefited. By giving help to anybody, you will not lose anything. It is a humanitarian nature. Thank you. Have a good day.